Now, Weather on the Threes, sponsored by Bufalo Contracting. Good morning. If you've been sticking with us or you're just now waking up and joining us, welcome. It's 623. We have been tracking some severe storms in the area, although it looks like it's going to be missing our region entirely and just heading straight east which is what we love to hear. It's, this is the Rockford Sighting and Windows River Cam, where a lot of that activity has calmed down and come to a minimum. We don't have any of that heavy rain or gloomy skies or lightning that we did before. We're very calm and very clear. Our max storm track response by Anderson Nissan shows that line of storms that I was just talking about. You can see that they kind of have been starting over in the Dixon area, making their way up past Rockford through DeKalb. So anywhere north of DeKalb, seeing heavy rainfall. Dixon area seeing heavy rainfall right now as well. A couple rumble or two in the area. Some wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour, but most of this is tracking to come straight past us is not going to be reaching the region. We could see some stray showers still every now and then as the storm system does make its way out of our area, but I'm not too concerned by this with the way it's moving. It's just going straight east, not even clipping us at this point. Lows today are going to be in the mid 60s. 64 degrees is going to be our low temperatures right now are starting to warm up a little bit. 70 degrees. We have winds that have been calming down coming in from the southwest at 13 miles per hour. We were a whole lot windier when we woke up this morning around 20 miles per hour. Now we're starting to dip closer to 10 miles per hour, although wind gusts could ramp up to a high of 26 miles per hour once we get closer to the late afternoon, early evening time frame tonight. Friday is going to be pretty clear, though. We are not tracking any strong wind systems at all. Really 10, 5 miles per hour, below 10 miles per hour throughout the entire day. So a very calm breeziness in the area. Timecast is showing that storm system right there that I was mentioning. That's going to be making its way east. The Woodstock area, the Belvedere area is getting hit pretty hard with that rainfall at the moment. So is DeKalb, so is Dixon, so is Sterling. So really just this entire line of storms is making its way up into that, Ch not Chicago, Milwaukee area over Lake Michigan right there. Kind of good news. It's going to be passing right by. You could see it completely goes off to the east, misses us entirely. It's not going north. It's not going west. So we are going to be in the clear for the rest of the day today. No more severe storms. That's something to celebrate, especially because we are going to be in the clear when it comes to any clouds. So we have a lot of sun shining through. We're going to be warming up into the upper 70s. Friday is going to be a basically a copy and paste day. I mean, we are tracking it to be identical on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. You could see here Friday barely brings us a single cloud in the sky. We have a stray cloud or two as we make our way into the afternoon, but it's not going to be stealing any sunshine whatsoever. The rest of Saturday is going to also remain clear. Let me just look at those sunny skies. It's making for a rather beautiful week and weekend there. Kicking off the weekend into the 80s, high of 85 for Saturday, high of 75 for today. Sunday is going to be very hot and very humid. I have 91, but we're tracking humidity up to the mid 70s for that day. The rest of the week is going to be in the 90s. The only hot day that we have that entire week is Tuesday with a high of 96. The rest of the week, though, is going to be in the low 90s to upper 80s. We're also not tracking the humidity to be as high that week as it will be on that Sunday. So not as suffocating, not as oppressive as that Sunday will be. It's going to be a very calm work week. The rest of it, though, 